Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to be creating a fun card from House Mouse Designs. This is the Spring Rain T for Two Berry Good and there are three other stamp sets in this collection. Now I am an affiliate for scrapbook.com, Spellbinders, Amazon and Gina K Designs. There are links below this video. If you click on them and place an order for any of the product that's in this video, I will receive a small commission. It's at no cost to you. And thank you again so much for placing an order through my links and you guys keep me going. But look at this adorable collection they sent me. We, we got to pick from the six um, stamp sets that are offered, we uh, got to pick three of them. And these are the ones that I picked. Isn't this so stinking cute? The little mice have the, um, the daisy as their umbrellas. I just can't even. And then here we are, T for two. Cute little sayings. Thank you for your friendship. I like hanging out with you. And this one is, my um, friends make the world beautiful. I love that. Uh, you're so sweet and we're very good together. And here this one is. I love the little barrel that they're sitting on there. It's so cute. Uh, so this is the next series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, probably three cards with these. We're going to be doing a little coloring with alcohol markers. You can also use pencils, watercolor, um, anything that you like to color with. I'll be, of course, using the ones that I have here. And um, you can... You know, just use whatever that you have at home. But I really think you're going to enjoy this collection because this is really the kind of coloring that I like to do. Let me show you what I've already stamped. This is what the first card that we're going to do because I love the little berries. I love the barrel. Uh, but look at that. Isn't that so cute? Now, what I like about this is that where there's dark, I know to add color. Okay, or darker color or shade it like that. So I really love to color when um, it shows me a pattern of what to do. I don't do well with this. Okay, <laughs> I don't do well with just a blank sheet and then, you know, just coloring. Or Some people are artists. I am not, guys. I am a crafter. So I look for all of these helpful um, little uh, ins and outs with my stamp sets that uh, I do like to color and uh, this is definitely one of them. So stinking cute so I'll be back in just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and make a card with this adorable Berry Good set. Be back in a second. Okay, I hope you enjoy making this little card with me. It came out so cute. Look how sweet that is. And you're so sweet. And that's what I did on the inside. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's move things aside. <clears throat> and the first thing we're going to do is stamp. I'm bringing in my mini Misty. And I cut a piece of uh, my Nina White cardstock at five and a half by four and a quarter. It's oversized. And I'm going to take my stamp and just kind of center it on there have my magnet here. I'm going to close my door. Oh, note also that because I'm on a cling red rubber stamp, I have everything out of here. I have the little pad and then um, the little paper here. I took it out also. So you want to be down on that because you already have cushion with that red rubber. Now I, I still have this Memento uh, black ink. I will switch to the archival ink that I have listed below. I'm also going to use um, alcohol markers. I'll put some below in the link that you can start with with um, scrapbook.com if you don't already have some alcohol markers. But that's what we're going to do with this is just color with some alcohol. You could also use color pencils. Now, I'm going to ink that up, and I just re-inked this pad, so I, I hope it's not blotchy. So I'm going to push that down. I'm going to use my little tool here. Not too much there in the center. Let me push. Okay. Now see how, uh, with a large stamp like this, I would absolutely suggest a, some type of positioning device. See right here where I know that my stamp has not hit it, okay? I just want to go ahead and put a little bit more pressure before I re-ink, okay? And now, 
just like that. There we go. See? See, so look at your image and see I'm picking up the excess there that was not. And I'm just giving it one nice tap with the heel of my palm and it's really coming out nice. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, now I want another layer because I want my black to be bold, nice and crisp. Right, when we do something like this, we do like it to be crisp. Now, this is something that I always say with the, I've had this ink pad forever, and I've re-inked it many times. So I'm possibly, I'm definitely ready for something new, and I will switch to that black archival ink from scrapbook.com. Use my little tool here, that helps. Push, push, push. Oh, that's nice. Just right up in here could be a little bit more of transfer of ink. That's all. You don't have to give it, you know, more ink right there on its little foot. I'm just kind of look. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to remove this. And I know, you know, it's fast drying, but I really want it to dry. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring the envelope in. I didn't know what to do with the outside of the envelope. When I color with... Uh, um, ink like that when I color with uh, alcohol markers they bleed through so I could I suppose just stamp part of this on the envelope um, in just black that wouldn't be bad either right well I'll just do what I did I used this little saying we're very good together because I figured that this saying was going to go to a friend. But that is something that you can do. And I'll, I'm going to show you how to color and get part of that stamp. Okay. In just a second. We're very good together. So I'm going to pick that up. And just put a little saying on the outside. Now you know with something like this. Someone's going to want to open this envelope. Right. That is so cute. Just to put the saying on the outside. All right, now, so that's done. I won't do anything yet to the back, but I am seriously thinking about stamping on this back oh, just a little bit and like just the corner of that, okay? But we'll get to that in just a few minutes because I have to wash that stamp and dry it and uh, continue on just like that. All right, now, now we are ready to go ahead and color. This is very simple coloring. I Nothing is blended. Absolutely nothing is blended. Um, we could do some embossing too. I did emboss that piece. Let's do that. Let me get some of this black cardstock. <clears throat> so here's this black cardstock and let me get a pad right here. Well, no, I don't need one. Um, so here's this black cardstock and one of my newest sets. I love it is from those hexi gems but i love that of course i did all of the foiling here and then some let me tell you i've had so much fun with that but it's this it's this um die right here that i love i have a horrible time making these flags these ends i always don't get them right they're not even i clip them too far in i was so happy when i just even had this part of the die so what i'm going to do is let's with this I'm going to take some Versamark and I'm just going to take my stamp here that says you're so sweet and I'm just and again I don't need any kind of a uh, how'd that go I think that looks good uh, I don't need any kind of a pad because the stamp is red rubber all right now let's go to the white embossing powder here. These little things are crayon. They are crayon holders. I'll list them on Amazon for you below. Let's see. I didn't I forgot to use my embossing buddy, but I think we're going to be okay. Let me get my little Just use my little paintbrush there. Whoop. Did I go back over that? Here we go. Okay. And I 
there we go now just use a little heat tool and these are ice cream spoons you get like 300 so get your crafty friends to get together I mean like you get an enormous amount of the spoons right uh, but get your crafty friends together so you could share them and they would like I, these little um, crayon containers you can also get them at Walmart but if you're not one to you know go in and shop like that you might like to shop at Amazon online I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. I'm still doing pickup orders at Walmart. Only because it's like, well, I don't impulse buy, you know? And I just let them do it. And then I just run there and get in the car and let them put it in. And I just have to carry it in once. There we go. All right. So embossing just makes that so pretty. It makes it look like paint. Let me make sure it's that we are good there. Yes. Okay. Now what I want to do is place this, but toward, see, over to one side, just like that. And then I'm going to cut it out, and I'm going to cut that flat. Okay? So let's get the... My Spellbinders Platinum 6 right here. And I'll get my magic mat. I love the magic mat. I've been posting all over my Facebook page that the small magic mats are back in stock, also on sale. So that, that's fantastic. I have the long one, which I love. I want to get the small ones. They have a few things right now that are on sale that I really want to get. And then, of course, um, they're always sending free gifts. Paper, uh, you know... There's always something there to pick from at the top of your order. You can click on it. It's nice that they send a nice free gift. Okay. Now, here's one that's already cut out then. And um, I really like to emboss first and then cut out. I'll have to say that much. Because you can, oh, you know, then you don't have to worry about getting things straight. Okay, let's cut this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this right here, give it a snip, and looky there. My embellishment is ready for my card. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and save this other one because I will, I will stamp on it. And let's put this back here. Clean up a little bit. And then we're going to color. I work in a small space, so I try to clean up as I go here or get things out of the way as I use them because then there's more room, right? <laughs> okay, so I have extra cardstock cut to the side here just in case I mess something up. So you know if you, if you, um, you know, put your extra cardstock out, then you're not going to mess anything up. So I'm going to just take a, a green um, marker here alcohol marker and I'm just going to go ahead I'm not doing any shading this is the kind of coloring I wanted to say that I love to do I'm also left-handed so I'll be turning this uh, I don't have to shade a thing when you look at this and you would never think you would think wow she really shaded everything in there and look at that wow no my stamp did it for me my stamp did all of that green kind of going darker and lighter it did it all for me because of where all of this black is so I'm just gonna so this is just coloring don't you know now maybe some people would like to get in there and shade and do a lot of you know layers of color um, that's not me uh, I'm very happy with this and the way it turned out very easy so all of my greenery up here, I'm not going to go through everything, okay? So all of my greenery up here is going to get just this one color. Pick any color you want of green. You could also use watercolor or um, even just pencils and not even put the water to them. Just use, you know, color pencils. Okay, so green there. I'll go back. A uh, little bit of brown here on these stems that are coming through here okay and up through here 
like the branch, the branches for these berries and the little berry buds. Just through here, just add a little brown. And I'm not taking any pains, as you see, whatsoever. Honest. Okay, just like that. Now, my berries up here are a dark purple. So I'm just going to come in through here and just, you know, get my berries colored. There's also some greenery that goes around them. Each one of them has these little shoots that come up here. And I'm going to just color them green. Makes me want blackberries. I'm going to get these out here also. Just like that. And then in through here, all these little buds like that and all these little... Uh, areas on the top there. Then here, these little things that are sticking out, like that they're going to be a berry. I'm just coloring them yellow. Like they're going to pop into color and they are so new. But I wanted to add that little bit of yellow there and you'll see it. It makes it, makes it look fantastic. Look at that color. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Now, my little guy, my little mouse, Oh, let's do some greenery down here. I'm going to come back. I'm not going to keep you on here and color everything. Uh, my little greenery down here, I did not just go all over everything. Where my grass was shooting up, I just came down with lines. And as you can see, oh, you know what I forgot? Uh, I, did, I missed it, but I'm picking it up now. As you can see, when I just come down with those lines where the little dark areas are, but not coloring everything in, the black gives us wonderful shading through there. Isn't that great? Look at that. And I'm just adding lines. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Okay? Now, I did see, even on there, there's a little bit of whatever that this is, a barrel or whatever, a little bit of that in there. So let me go ahead and color that really quick because it, it's hard to see. It's in around the mouse a little bit, but it is down there. So it's right in through there. And then even here. Yeah, this, see? Right in through there. And I did not color it here. So let's go back and fix that. Easy peasy fix. Out through there. And right here. Yeah, you as soon as you start coloring it, you can see it. It's right there. Oh, there's a little bit right here in here too. Oh, I'm happy I'm doing this with you. And then even back through here to make that round. Okay. Just back in through there. Nice. Okay, so little hidden places of this little thing that the mice are sitting on. I just wanted to point those out to you. But that's all I did was I just colored this, guys. That's all. There's no shading or anything because watch. The black areas are going to give you the shading. Look at that. That you need. Okay? The black areas are going to give that marker the shading that they need. That's wonderful. Okay, now my little mouse. This is like ivory, is what this is called. And then I used a pink. So maybe like a flesh tone and a pink. I did his little ears. The, if it showed the inside of his ears, I did it pink. Those, that's the outside of the ears. Here's the insides. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Here's the insides of his little ears. Is actually the inside right there. Good. And then I just took the other one and I color I left his fur alone. 
I let that be black and white and I gotta color his little grapes but his little paws and look at these little ugly feet but they're so cute <laughs> they're like, I was like oh my goodness they're adorable and then his ears right here and see now I'm not going up into his fur oh he needs a little pink nose right let's see where'd that go I put the wrong cap on it didn't I he needs a little pink nose and a little pink tongue <laughs> and so this is what I did throughout the entire front of the card here just having fun with color no blending not hard just putting down a little bit of color really 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 cute and just having fun with these little mice mouse house right and let's see what else did I want to show you before I break away and finish coloring everything and then I'll get back with you I think that's it don't forget there's little grapes here they're little tails don't forget it's little tail see and then they all have feet and here's some little hands here see and then here's his little hands I guess they're paws. Here's a little foot. You know, so um, so look for that because it does define his little his little self. He's really cute, right? So there we go. Or all of them. The whole family of Mises. <laughs> Those are so sweet. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes and I'll have this all colored up and then we're going to put the card together and we'll talk about um the size of everything that I cut back in a second okay so here we are with the front and the back uh, they are just so pretty any colors that you use are going to be pretty and allow the stamp set to do the work for you you can really see how it made it look shaded on this one and I only use one color so I think that looks fantastic okay let's go ahead and uh, attach that to the inside so any color card stock that you're using and again that's five by three and three quarter and this cut this size is four and three quarter by three and a half and I was gonna say look at how that color bled through right I gonna put a little glue here okay very good now this will go on the inside of the card. Let's see where I put my base right here. The base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And instead of opening like this, we'll open like that. What is this called? Um, landscape, right? Or um, yeah, landscape this way, portrait that way. Okay, so landscape. Just like that. And look at how pretty the inside of that card is just to send this nice card to a friend there's that all right now the outside layers um, let me I wrote them down the first piece of black is a five and three eighths by four and one eighth your color card stock is five and a quarter by four we'll go ahead and put those together And it's giving us that very nice thin border around that then just allows that to pick up off of that white. So you have the white, the black, and then your color cardstock, which is fantastic. You put this down. And leaving our nice pretty white border wow that really looks nice 
looks very very nice and any color cardstock that you use is fine you could use red you could use other purples blues yellow anything whenever you uh, put a little that little bit of black behind it it really pops it up now this we want to cut back. So this piece of black cardstock for the outside is three and three fourths by four and three quarter. And I want to cut this down to three and a half by four and a half. So let's go ahead and do that together. I wanted to do this part with you guys together, cutting this down because I, I wanted to use a big piece of cardstock. So I got the, the entire, um, print on there but now we're going to trim so I'm just going to kind of come around here and trim off I'm just randomly trimming at this point okay just random trim most of the white and then up here though I want this right to that edge okay and I eventually want to get this down to three and a half by four and a half. So we're talking four and a half this way and three and a half this way, okay? So right here is the three and a half inch mark. And yes, that would cut it all off, but see, I have white at the bottom that I want to cut off. So I want to bring this out to three and three quarters, okay? And I want to slice it. Because see, once you slice it, you can't put it back on, okay? <laughs> so now I realize that I have to cut a little bit more okay so don't be afraid to give it a few cuts it's okay and honestly I think that this is not straight that needs to be at four and a half and I like that right there actually I like that right there yeah I'm gonna move this out like a sixteenth of an inch cut that off I'm gonna turn it to square this up and bring that right to four and a half. Did you see what I do? I did, I scooched it out just one notch. I scooched it out one notch, I cut this side, then I bring it back in and I put it at the four and a half inch mark with is what the size that I really need and now I cut it off, okay? Now my, um, now I'm nice and squared up and I know I have my four and a half, okay? Now we're working on the three and a half. Definitely want that gone. Even if I have to leave that white down there, I want that edge up top gone. So here's the three and a half. I'm coming out a sixteenth. Okay, I might come out another sixteenth. Yep. So that's an eighth of an inch. Taking that off. And I'm liking that. It could really be cut off just a tad more, right? Okay. Let's bring it back in. Three and a half a sixteenth and then like a thirty second like a half of a sixteenth slice okay now bring this into the three and a half and this is how I do it I just work it and work and that's perfect see three and a half by four and a half I just work it around and cut a little here and a little there it doesn't matter if you have how many cuts you have to make you just take from either side and then all of a sudden you're going to have a gorgeous piece just like that. Look at these little mice. That's so cute. But like I was saying, this is the type of coloring that I love to do. The, the stamp itself does the work for us. Now I know I've colored this one. I have two other stamps uh, to work with and I want to do an ink blending technique on one. Now this one I did cut back that quarter of an inch so my border is a little thicker which it doesn't have to be as uniform you know it can be a little bit thicker and I think it looks fantastic I really did think it looked fantastic on here I thought that a skinnier border it needed it needed like this thicker border see I think that looks fantastic oh, I love it okay let's put some foam let's use foam so yeah, I just got these. I found this foam in my, I keep saying this, I found it in my stash when I was cleaning out my craft room. And I was like, where has all this been? Should have been using it. So yeah, sometimes when you get into your craft stash, it's amazing what you find, right? Which then it just makes it that much more fun.
but I've been enjoying using the long strips on the cards. I have to admit that. So right here, and I think I'll just cut that like in half. So I think we'll be good. Yeah. And one at the bottom. Just like that. Now this I definitely like have one shot at getting it right, right? With all of that adhesive on the back of it, there's no picking it back up. Okay. You know what? I'm going to attempt to use one of these guys. Let me move that out. Even more. Nope, that's throwing me off. Okay. Okay. I like it. Right there. Perfect. Good, good. We'll use the T rulers. I've 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 purchased those to help me to get things straight, but that got in my way at that point. Alright, let's go ahead and put this you're so sweet. And remember, I cut the edge of it off right here to the edge. It doesn't have to go out to the black, just to the edge of the white, just like that. Oh my goodness, what a sweet little card. And now let's go ahead and put a little bit of rhinestones, crystals, whatever that you'd like. We're going to put them on all of the grapes. Thank you so much for hanging in here with this wonderful card. You know, when you color, it does take a little bit longer. And I appreciate you hanging in here with me. And I'm just going to put these little crystals like um, that the grapes have a dew drop on them. Put one here and one more up top here. Oh, absolutely adorable. Put five of them. Always you try to uh, go in even, odd numbers. Uh, they look the best. Uh, evens kind of, I don't know what happens with an even number, but as you see, there are five grapes also. So, um, but I know there's four little mice, but there's also a barrel. So, you know, you, you have to kind of do like odd numbers of things, and they work out and look wonderful together. Here is our absolutely adorable card. House Mouse is um, the design company, and this is called Berry Sweet with this little stamp right here. All right, I'll be back with another wonderful video with one of the other stamps uh, and we're just going to have fun with this collection. Thanks again for watching. All the links are below for you and I'll see you next time.